Yes. I'll make that motion. We make Mark the temporary chairperson. I'll second. Right. Okay, we have a we have a <laughs> we have a motion on the table that I would uh, chair tonight's meeting in the absence of our regular chairman and our vice chairman. Uh, is there any discussion? Seeing none, uh, it, all in favor, please say aye. Do you want a aye. roll call vote on that, Katie and aye. Liz? We are supposed to do, while we're doing Zoom, we are supposed to do a roll call just because of the visual of it, Very good. <laughs> I guess. So and I will do a very quick roll call perfect. vote. Uh, Commissioner Blakely? Yes. Commissioner Halley? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Seitz? Yes. I and Commissioner Wells. Yes. Okay. Okay, thanks everyone. And if Liz and Katie would feel free to interject at any point and help keep me on track, because I think you've coached our normal chairman most of the time and he does a terrific job. Is that okay? Uh, yes, good but idea. I'll, I'll follow the agenda and hopefully not mess this up. And are we, <clears throat> are we on people, if they wanna see us, they can see us on Access Humble, correct? Yes. Okay, we're gonna then open the meeting with a flag salute. One of our staff is gonna put the American flag up. And we'll wait for that. And we will virtually pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic, which is one nation, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Terrific. Uh, with that, we do now have a quorum, but Katie, do you want to take a roll call again for attendance? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Blakely. Yes, here. Commissioner Halley. Yes. Commissioner Seitz. Present here. And Commissioner Wells. Present. Okay, our second order of business is the approval of minutes. If you would please review those, which you have electronically as well as in print for you commissioners from our May 25th meeting. Is there any questions for staff or any input? Or is there a motion to approve? Do we approve that, Katie and Liz? Yes. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as read for the May 25th meeting. I'll second that. Very good. Uh, we have a motion and a second. And do we need a roll call vote on this? Yes, roll call vote. Commissioner Blakely. Yes. Commissioner Halley. Yes. Commissioner Seitz. Yes. Commissioner Wells. Yes. Terrific. Um, our fourth item of business is actual. No, I'm sorry. I skipped oral comments. Uh, at this time, we're going to receive any oral comments and our agenda says members of the public may be heard on any item of interest, not on the agenda. Speakers addressing the commission will be limited to three minutes per speaker. And please be advised that by law, the commission is not able to deliberate or take action <coughs> on issues presented during oral comments. So the public can call in at that number that's projected and we will allow time for that. Katie, did, we didn't have anybody pending, I take it, correct? <clears throat> What's our normal time that we've left this open in the past? A couple of I minutes. hear you, Mark. Okay. Just a couple.
I don't think that we have a <clears throat> standard time. Just generally, if you this this project is not controversial, so I don't think that we're going to be getting. Okay, and we, if I'm a correct understanding staff, we are open to inserting public comment at other points in the meeting if someone calls in so that we can be of utmost inclusion, correct? Yes, the the business item, the design review um, presentation, normally um, the procedure is that, and it's normally written into the motion, but I don't, I'm not sure if this one, yeah, it probably is to open it up to the public. So normally uh, after okay. the presentation, after planning commission questions, then it gets opened up to the public for questions. Okay, then seeing no public comment, if one of our com fellow commissioners would like to make a motion to close public comment, we can do that. I'll make a motion to pl close public comment. I'll second it. I believe our, our COVID era Zoom rules are such that we could actually close it with the motion of a second, correct? <clears throat> Excuse me, we actually do not need a motion. The chairman can close it. Okay, then we're going to close public comment uh, at this time. Our next order of business item four on our agenda is the design review of building elevations for the 7,700 square foot pre engineered metal building with the Fortuna Senior Center. So we will receive a report on that at this time. Yes, thank you. Um, Planning commissioners, and I will go ahead and go right to the oh the presentation. Share my screen here. Okay. So um, yeah, this project has come to you a couple of times since uh, it was in November or December of last year that the conditional use permit was approved. And then um, about a month ago, um, it was brought to you as a, the design review was brought to you as a um, like conceptual or preliminary design review just for your sort of, uh, you know, if you had any comments and just for your um, general take on it. So this is the formal design review where a decision would be made. And um, the design review includes um, components relating to the building itself, um, the building colors and landscaping plans, and it also includes a lighting plan. Um, so those are the items that will be included in the presentation and in your resolution at the end. So the project location is on Rohnerville Road at Gullickson Drive. So it's on the southeast corner, as you can see, um, in an area that is developed with metal buildings of similar, um, you know, general character. And there's also multifamily around, and it does serve as an entrance. The Gullickson Drive does serve in it as an entrance to uh, both side single family residences to the east. And then there are other uh, more single family on the what mostly on the west side of Vernerville Road. And you've seen this at the pre previous presentations, just as a reminder, it is in the commercial thoroughfare zone. That's why the conditional use permit was required. Um, normally, offices and retail and really a, a wide range of commercial activities are allowed in that commercial thoroughfare zone. And you can also see the residential zoning around the area and then the PF is public facility and that is Ambrosini Middle School, Elementary School. So this is the site plan um, and you've seen this with the use permit. The main addition on this that's different from the use permit is it does show the landscaping and um, we'll talk about the landscaping further down the road. But now, other, other than that, the building is the same size, same location. Um, the parking is, was approved and just, you know, discussed in that conditional use permit. Um, so, uh, you know, there's no changes there. And 
you know, as far as the activity itself and is, unless it's related to design review, you know, otherwise those decisions have, um, you know, have been made by the planning commission. And the, um, the present, the elevations are the, basically the same. There've been some minor changes and then just some more detail on the colors. But, you know, so you can see there is the, um, so it's a metal building with a vertical siding, um, wainscoting at, at the bottom of the building. Um, it's got the pitched roof. You can kind of see it more here. I think it says 12 to three, 12 to three slope. Um, the gabled roof with the, with the shingles on the north and the south ends. Um, the doorway is a uh, um, storefront with mul multiple panes of glass and then the awning coverage and some timbers, timber posts. Um, oh, and so there is um, these the white areas here are originally there was going to be, uh, it was planned for solar panels and they may do solar panels, in the future, but these um, these are not part of the plan. So it's at this point, it will just be the gray roof. So, um, you know, as funding or as grant um, uh, um, opportunities come up, they you know, certainly would consider um, solar panels. They don't have anything against it. It's just um, not in the budget right now. And, um, you know, that's down the road. So regard <coughs> the solar panels as far as this approval. Um, it does have the cupola on the top of the roof. And there's a detail that I'll show you. Um, that's one change. Uh, um, they do pr um, propose an eagle um, on that as part of that cupola. And these are the building colors. Um, so the roof is a gray, a pearl gray. Um, and the, the body color is, um, oh, did I write the... The body is regal white, so it's going to be a um, you know, it's kind of a glossy or uh, white with the colors that have kind of been designed to coordinate and create, you know, a kind of a a cheerful, cheerful color combination. You know, it is red, white, and blue. Um, I think the colors are more, you know, kind of slightly designer colors as far as red, white, and blue go, which I think is nice. Um, so the blues are, um, the trim is a, a royal blue, the shutters are the red, that's a brick red, and the gable ends are, a, um, it's a pearl white to gray, so it's, um, you know, just a kind of in between the white and the, the, um, the white of the body and the gray of the roof, so it will kind of stand out somewhat and just, you know, kind of adds some visual interest and just kind of call out that, you know, hey, this is an area where the sh of shingles and they just want those to be noticeable. So there's a slightly different color. Um, and then the wainscoting will be the color, the trim color as well. And there's a detail of the cupola. Landscaping plan, I did have, let's see. Sorry, I saw my visual, I had some color call out on the landscaping that didn't show up. But basically the landscaping will be in that um, five foot lands, uh, setback. So in the CT zone, there is a five foot setback and it's also um, a zoning standard that parking lots be screened from the public street with a five foot landscaping strip. So what they propose is a combination of um, trees and these are flowering cherry trees. Let's see. And then a, a mixture of shrubs and ground cover. So they've, that will take place in that five foot strip. And also there are some interior landscaping areas at the corner of the building. And I think, let's see, I think it's these two um, here and here. And I'm not sure if this, no, this is just the entry. Um, and then in your packet, let's see, we do have some details. So the shrubs will include um, this 
a Pitsiporum tenifolium or a golf ball. It's a compact shrub. And then uh, two types of rhododendrons that are a bright, you know, a nice bright red that's going to, I think, complement the color scheme of the building really well. And then Cyanothus, which will, that will be your blue. And then um, some white yarrow. And I don't remember what this pink is. Um, let's see if I have any more detail on that. And then these are the um, examples of the flowering shrubs that they propose. Um, and it says in the corner plantings. So they'll add, um, you know, a, a mix. It won't be one set. These could be perennials, they could be annuals. Um, so it'll just be some, you know, common but beautiful colored flowers that will complement the things, the proposed landscaping and just create a nice visual um, image of that for that site. Oh, and this is the lighting plan. So They've got a couple of things proposed. They have, um, I cannot read the screen, but basically these are, um, I think it's bollard lighting. So it's a couple of feet tall and it'll just provide parking lot lighting without being tall poles, you know, that are gonna shed light. I think that's a really good idea. It's gonna really keep the lighting focused to the parking lot. And I am really excited to see how that turns out because with all of the commercial buildings, I know that's a little bit of a problem. It's kind of hard to, um, you know, kind of control the lighting and then businesses place light bulbs and they're brighter than what the, we do have a lighting standard that all of the lighting be limited to the parking lot and not shed or not directly um, shine onto neighboring properties, but that can be really hard. So um, I, th I think it's nice to see this. And then they've got uh, the six um, building lights. And then these are just details. Oh, um, I do take that back. It is a, tw <laughs> sorry. It is a 20 foot tall pole, not four. Um, but the lighting turn up the steel pole square. Okay. But the lighting fixtures do need to be covered and shielded on the side. So um, that is a, a standard in design review that gets adopted. And then the wall lights are, um, uh, again, these are shielded on the sides and directed downward. So through design review, we do, do have the ability, at least initially to control the, you know, the type of lighting that gets attached to the poles. So that's good. And I think that's it. Let me look at my, no, how many Liz, how many lights you said five lights there are the arrows are the pole lights and okay. then the triangles are the wall lights got it so 20 feet will be um you know that's not a really tall that's kind of just a standard typical parking lot light so that's it. That's the end of my presentation, but I'll be happy to answer any questions. Of course, the applicants are here. They can answer. They can, I'm sure, have things to add in that I may have missed or questions that you might have as well. I'll go back to the site plan here and I'll hand that back to the um, commission and chairman sites. Okay, maybe we'll start with questions from other commissioners for Ms. Shorey or the Fortuna Senior Group. Commissioners, do you have questions of the presentation? No, I just have I just have a comment. Uh, my comment is it's absolutely beautiful. Whoever planned it, it's it it's going to make that dead area there look amazing. So thank you for doing that. Yeah, I was about to say uh, things along the same line, Stephanie. I, it's, I'm I'm impressed with this, and Me I can't too. wait to see. I can't wait to see it when it's done. And, and the eagle, the eagle, and the colors make me so proud. So thank you. And I'd like to agree with that. Mm. Yay! <laughs> I'm very familiar with that site, and I think that is uh, a really. Uh, it's going to be a great addition for not only Rotorville Road, but for the uh, neighborhood above it there. 
Yeah, agreed. I don't mean to get off point, but this is uh, Commissioner Wells' first meeting. We appreciate your service to the Planning Commission in the past and the present and the future. Thank you, Mike. Well, thank you. Uh, other questions for Ms. Shorey or the senior group from commissioners? Okay, seeing none, do you Fortuna seniors want to say anything? I'm Jim Stanfield and I'm part of the seniors and I have a, a correction to make. Uh, we did submit a, a picture of an eagle and when I ordered the cupola, uh, I was told that that eagle fits on a 72 inch cupola and we had ordered the 60 inch cupola. And he said it would be too big if I put it on the 60 inch cupola. And if you go to a 72 inch, you just added thousands of dollars to the cost. So I said, we'll go back to the rooster then. So we have a rooster, not an eagle. I'm sorry, but that's, that's the way it's been ordered. And it has a copper top on it. Well, it's better than a turkey. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna add character. It's gonna look great. Good job. I, I still say if there's a rooster up there, we need a hen somewhere. But yeah. Oh, there's there's gonna be hens in there, I'll tell you what. I, I would I'm Marcia Hayes and I'm the president of Fortuna Seniors and I just wanna say this has been such a fun and uh maybe a little exhausting at times, but uh, or and we so appreciate the help that we've gotten from the city. And we fell in love with Derek Long. Uh, if his mother doesn't want him, I will take him. He has been, Whit Church has been amazing with what they've done and helped us through. And um, we're all amateurs. And I think that the committee, the building committee did a fantastic job. We are so excited to um, get there with it. it. better be within the year. I planned on my our Christmas uh, potluck, but they told me no. So. Um, Maybe in the spring we'll have our first potluck, and and it, every every it's just amazing. Everybody's so excited that uh, we've had so much support. It's been wonderful. It's been quite a, a wonderful experience, and we thank you for your cooperation. Congratulations, that's great. Yeah. Any more questions for the staff or the Fortuna seniors? Get it going. Okay, um, we're gonna we need to open this up for public comment. So I believe that our staff will put the number up again for the public if they would like to phone in or zoom in, and we will allow time for that. Any public comment, and we can go we can have some back and forth if I've missed anyone on the call already. So we have it open for public comment on the Fortuna Senior Center design review of their upcoming building. Liz and Katie, do you believe it's too early to close public comment if we receive a motion? I think this is a typical and appropriate um, period to to offer. And if we usually, you know, normally if we haven't had anything by now, then I think it's safe that we're not going to get anything. Okay. Do we need a motion, or can I just close it? You can close it. Yourself. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll go ahead and close public comment at this time. Yep. Can uh, I make? A public, wait. Can I make a public comment? I'm. Okay. I'm a, this is going to go through, and if it does. We are planning on our, our, our um, groundbreaking 
next Tuesday at one o'clock and you all are invited to come and bring your shovel because everybody can get a shovel. <laughs> it's for is... our center. So if, if we're approved, you can come. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Now repeat that time for us. Did you say Tuesday at what time? One o'clock. One o'clock Tuesday. The 20th. 29th. 29th. And I assume that the public is invited, correct? Yes. We want yeah. people to come. Um, yes. And Our, bring a shovel. And bring your shovel. And uh, the, we're, we're going to have some of the people that belong to the center that play the ukulele. They're coming to play. And so um, we want to make it quite festive. So please come. That's terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll close public comment. And we're looking for action on this now. I'll make a motion. I'll second that. Do we do we need more detail on your motion? I oh, yeah, it, I would just yes. I make a motion to adopt resolution P-2021-3064, a resolution of the Planning Commission of the City of Fortuna approving design review of the Fortuna Senior Center including a new metal building colors and landscaping the end now i'll second that sorry terrific thank you we have a motion and a second is there any further discussion from the commissioners seeing none our staff will take us through a roll call vote to approve this resolution commissioner blakely yes commissioner halley yes Commissioner Seitz? Yes. And Commissioner Wells? Absolutely, yes. The motion is passed, and that means that we can attend on Tuesday at 1 o'clock. Yep. Uh, we're invited. <laughs> the groundbreaking of the Fortuna Senior Center. Congratulations, Fortuna Thank Senior you. Center. That's yes. sweet. Very much. Thank you very much. I see a few new members there. <laughs> 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 she must be talking to me. I don't know. <laughs> you only have to be 50. In a, in a few years, Commissioner Blakely will be eligible. So we're looking forward to that time. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, Thank we you. don't have any further business, correct, staff? That's correct. Um, then we can entertain a motion to adjourn at this time if there is one. I'll make that motion to adjourn. Is there a second? I'll I'll second that. And we will have our final roll call vote at this time. Yeah. Commissioner Blakely? Yes. Commissioner Halley? Yes. Commissioner Seitz? Yes. And Commissioner Wells? Yes. Very well, we are adjourned. Thank you all staff and commissioners and those who tuned in for serving the city of Fortuna and have a good night. Yay, thank, thank you. you. Have a great Bye, night. everybody. Congratulations, Bye. seniors. Thank you. Thanks Liz and Katie for all your work too. You're welcome, our pleasure.